Steelers linebacker Lawrence Timmons has never been named to an AFC Pro Bowl team. He's been an alternate before, but he's never been voted on the team initially. Through the first part of the season in 2014, it appears as if he's got his best chance of his career. With Steelers Film Room and Behind the Steel Curtain, I'm Neil Kulong. We're going to break down the film of Lawrence Timmons here on Film Room and show you what it is he's doing well, how it is he's leading a reviving Steelers run defense, and why it is he deserves to make the 2014 AFC Pro Bowl team. Timmons may not play a better game in the 2014 season than he did against the run in Week 7 against the Houston Texans. The Texans, whatever their record is, are still an outstanding rushing team, particularly with an inside and outside zone running scheme. They're going to try the inside zone here against the Steelers with 8.07 left in the first quarter back in Week 7. As you can see right off the snap, outside linebacker James Harrison is going to get a big push on the left tackle, and that really cuts off a lot of their inside options for Alfred Blue, the running back on this play. He bounces it to the outside, and Timmons, who had immediately recognized the play, sees the guard shooting out at him. And instead of taking the guard on uh, straight up, he's going to angle himself to get to the outside to make sure that he still has that contained because James Harrison crashing down on the tackle isn't going to be there. Because Timmons takes care of that outside edge, Blue doesn't have anywhere to run. And in that, he's going to cut back to the inside, and you're going to see Harrison finish the play off from there. It's an excellent play by Timmons, and while it was a three-yard gain, he had a lane that could have been a lot bigger if not for Timmons cleaning up where Harrison had left off. Timmons wasn't even close to done in this game. Fast forwarding to the second quarter with 10.49 left. Houston's going to put Arian Foster back in, and they're going to run their patented outside zone. But watch, as Arthur Motes, the outside linebacker, gets a little bit of contain there, but Foster doesn't feel good in cutting up the field. He tries to stretch it out wide, but look at Timmons. The, as soon as the, the offensive lineman comes out to engage on him, again, he's able to beat him to that outside shoulder. He doesn't give up the outside edge, scrapes off of it, and then keeps his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and pursues the play all the way down. Foster's got nowhere to go after this. He's hemmed in at the sideline, and Timmons takes him down for a three-yard loss. They had a lot of these in this game. This is a big part of the reason why they were able to snuff out one of the league's better running games in a big victory in Week 7. In these two plays, Lawrence Timmons uses his inside shoulder to establish position on a shooting offensive lineman in order to set the edge and to force a ball carrier to make a move on him. He's ended up making plays in both of these, but perhaps his highlight of the game was this one. Third and short in the third quarter against the Texans, he's not going to use his shoulder to get around the lineman anymore. He's going to use it just to bang into the guy and knock him backwards. Third and short situation, the Texans again are going to try that outside zone. Timmons sees this coming, and as you see at the snap, the Steelers shift their, their defensive line over, giving Timmons responsibility for that gap. He sees the play immediately and attacks the guard, knocking him backwards. He drives his shoulder right into his chest and moves him off the line. There's nothing the guard's going to be able to do at that point. Timmons has all control, and Aaron Foster has nowhere to go but down, not gaining a yard on the play. It forced the punt, and this was indicative of a Steelers defense that dominated this Texans team after the first quarter. Timmons was dialed in against the Texans, but the reality is he's been playing at a high level all season, and to many degrees, playing at a high level the last couple of years. One thing is impressive in growing resume needs is a Pro Bowl bid, and I'm talking a vote from the players, fans, and coaches, not an alternate. He deserves to be in this game, and he really should be, and plays like this against Houston, I think he probably will end up there. With Behind the Steel Curtain and Steelers Film Room, I'm Neil Kulong.